2000, excuse me, 1992 Toyota SR5 extended cab four wheel drive. Problem is that the stick shift goes way too far. It's weird. We've had this done before by a mechanic, um, but I'm going to attempt it myself. So let's see what happens. So there are some bolts inside of this. This is your this particular model has that. Okay, I'm, I have a replacement part thanks to my sister for that. So anyway, lift it up. Look inside. There's some bolts. All right, they're 10 millimeter bolts. There's four here. We have two. <coughs> two Phillips screws here and two on the other side. And what I'm gonna do is, from what other YouTube videos that I've seen, I'm gonna just try to take all the plastic off and then just lift this, this whole boot up to expose the bottom. So let's, let me just get going. Okay, just remove these two. Helps if you have a little magnetic container to keep these safe. Here's this other one. Do the same on the other side. I'm not going to try to hold this thing. Do it this way. Sorry, that's my ponytail. If it gets in that picture. Okay. Now we got all four of these off. They're all the same length. You can go down and get one of these nice holders there. So you won't lose your bolts. Okay, so see how loose this is. Can I get it off? I don't take this other piece. Probably not. Okay, well, so I can't pull this off without unbolting these. So I'm going to do that next with a 10 millimeter. Do yourself a favor and get an extension, otherwise, it's going to take you forever. You would think that these bolts were holding the whole car together for crying out loud. All right, I'm going to take all four of these off and I'll turn it back on when I'm done. Well, this is what they look like to get off but I got them off remember they have uh, washers on them so make sure you get everything see what's gonna happen all right all I did is just pull this thing up and out of my way I'm on the driver's side checking it out here for the first time ever there's the little boot that holds that on and I must see about a little teeny piece that could be cracked or missing Inside of there, I picked up that the ship. So I'm going to freeze it again because I'm the only one doing the camera. Here's the other side. All right. Upon further investigation, I thought I could just lift this boot up, but I can't. So we got four more bolts one there, one there. Doesn't look like anything's on the back here. Let me turn this. Another one right there, and one up there. Let me see what happens when I take these out. Okay, so like this is all a discovery for me. So basically, these run like this four wheel drive, just twist them counterclockwise, take them off. I'm figuring it's probably better just to pull this thing off so that I have more room. Look at that! Yay! Okay, so let me try to get these off. All right, it isn't pretty, but four bolts later, four um, screws later. Here's what we got going on. I was able to pull this boot off. This stick went through, four wheel drive stick through, went through. This one isn't so easy to pull off. So what I've discovered is, I have a huge crack in there. Can you see that? A big oh, crack. I right, try to get that, there you go. So right now I'm gonna to try to pull off this part. 
feels like it's just seated on there, but I'm gonna need some tools. I'm gonna try a flathead screwdriver first. Okay, so I just used, I don't know, you can use like a hook or something like this. You gotta be careful though, because it is rubber. I got enough under there to get my finger. Once I got my finger under there, I just pried it up, and this is what we need to look into right here. So I'm gonna see what's going on in there. I gotta remove this ring from what it showed on um, YouTube and stuff, so. I see the spring inside of there. So I just have to move this inner ring. Okay, once that comes out, then I can take this whole thing out and take a look and see what's going on in there. Okay, so like, oh, on YouTube you saw a lot of people saying, oh, just use your screwdriver and push down on this ring. Because you need to push it down because it's spring loaded. You can see the spring there. But they don't tell you how to turn this. So I messed around with it for a little bit. What I found that you have to do, press down with it with a blunt tool if you want to, or just a screwdriver. Press down on the inner inner color inner uh, metal. As you're doing that, just get your um, pliers and just as you're pinching it, just turn it. And you're going to be having your pliers on both sides there, even though this part doesn't move, the inner one will. And as you do that. You'll see it turn, and then it'll come off. So hopefully you don't have to go through what I did. Okay, so there's that part right there. Why we were turning it? Because we needed to release it. Whoa. Dang. So you are witnessing what, for the first time, what I'm witnessing. Looks like it's all destroyed in there. Okay. So what should have been a plastic ring inside of there is just looking like a bunch of dirt. Uh, try to get it so it's not so bright. You're not supposed to have stuff that looks like crumbled rocks in there, okay? So let me clean that out. I'll get the parts that I got at the dealership and I'll show you hopefully how to do this. Look at that. It's not supposed to have a crack there. Now that bottom piece we're going to replace too. This dark yellow. I thought it was this piece that was broken. Looks like it's this piece. I don't know. I don't think I have the right part. I don't have that part, I don't think. But I have that inner part. And check it out. See how dirty it is? I gotta be really careful. I don't want any of that stuff going down in there. So I'm going to put a paper towel down in there. Try to control it a little bit. And try to clean that crap out of there. It's going to take me some time. But I'm going to just take my time and do it. And then I'll turn it back on when it's clean. Is it too shiny? Oh, it's better without my light. Okay. So, this was completely full of stuff. And you know what that used to be? That used to be this. Okay, according to the schematics, we've already taken this off. We got this. This is that part that has the um, spring in it. And then you see on the bottom here, right here, that thing is right there. Then we have this piece. You see the groove on it? It's kind of beveled and flat on that side. This goes in this part right here. And that is what was all over the place. Now I did drop a couple chunks in there. I don't know what's going to happen, but what can I do? The only way I could have got that out is that I had to like literally vacuum it. So I think, okay, so I put this in sideways. I'm not too sure what that nut's for. I have no idea if I'm even putting this in the right way because I don't have any instructions for that. So Good heavens, I'm gonna just put it in and see what happens. Can you see that tick mark? Right there, or not. I don't know if you're supposed to line that up with this top circle or this. I'm just gonna tilt it and line it up with this little bolt that's sticking out. And that's the way I'm gonna just leave it. And since I've got, even though this end looks really good, I'm gonna take it off anyway. And I'm going to replace it with a fresh one, so I don't have to do this again. Okay, so I'm not too sure how to get this out, except 
just to just try it. I fall it apart. It's not as easy as it looks. Let's try something else. That's what was on the bottom. See this here? That right there is the black part of this. This tire thing was all that crud that was disintegrated. So this stick shift should just sit in there. Oh, hold on a minute. Really nice, now it's snug. Okay, so let me try to take it off with the pliers. Mechanics out there are just laughing, I don't care. I'm not a mechanic, I'm just a housewife and a homeschool mom that doesn't want to spend $90 to have someone else do this for me. Plus I don't mind learning as I go. Boy, am I jerking this up. It's probably a specialized tool. Okay, I'm going to freeze it while I work on it. Okay, so I finally got it off. Good heavens, this thing's on great. There we go. See? Hallelujah. All right, let's see if we can get the other one on. This thing's as hard as stone. Maybe because of the heat or something. I don't know. Oh, great. Here we go again. It's, I don't know. We're supposed to just push down on it or what? It's all a learning curve. They probably have a special Toyota part. There we go. I'm so glad I changed that. Alright, so all we're going to do now is put everything back together, tip this back over, hold on to everything, and hopefully get it back on and make it work. Alright, so we're going to do everything in reverse order. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Okay, we're going to uh, hold on a second and freeze it for a minute. All I did was just drop it in here. And you'll there's like a nut in there we want to line up the metal with. And to lock it down is we have to depress this and turn clockwise. There it's pressing in. To turn it, remember I had to use... something to help me turn it. Just grab onto the side, push down. I didn't use this one last time, so it's a little bit more cumbersome. I use it. It's hard when the boot's in the way. Now I want to make sure I'm still lined up. I moved it around a lot. Okay. That part's in. Okay, let's press it down or something. You might have to freeze it and we'll come back to it. Go ahead and freeze it. A lot of, got it in there with a lot of effort. It's super hard to get back in. Then just put this lip on there. I need to get a new one of these. It's totally cracked. Okay, this one's already on. And then we could, all we gotta do now, once everybody's in, line these up with the original bolts that you took out, I mean the screws. Move the carpet, do what you need to do. So let me uh, screw these in real quick, but I gotta get the carpet in another way. Find where the holes are. It might be easier just to go ahead and put a screw through it. I'm gonna film this right here. Put a screw through that. And if you look down there, can you see that? Right there, look down. Can you see that? I'm going to try to line it up. If you get one of them lined up, you have a better chance for the rest of them. Okay. All right. Got all of the 
screws on. You don't want to put them too tight because they do look up to these plastic deals. And I can already tell that this sucker's working like it should. It's tight. It's awesome. Totally worth the job. I'm going to be cleaning up all of this. But we love our 92 Toyota SR5 four-wheel drive V6 extended cab. You can see here it's got good 209,000. We've got some more work to do on it. I'll be filming what we're doing. And even though I'm a girl, um, I'm going to be working on it with some help. Our next project is going to be this. It's all loose because the uh, plastic cracked in here. And my sister went to the junkyard and found me a new one. Next, after that, we're going to be replacing the clutch um, button. It's in there, but you can see that it's lost its top. And then after that, we're going to be working on the C boots or CV boots. And then oh, we're going to have someone else do um, some other work. All right. I'll take a picture of it when it's all sweet and pretty. Okay. I put it all back together again, and I'm going to test it out. I get the clutch on. The engine's off first, second. Third, fourth, fifth, and reverse. Yeah, works much better. Before I used to put it all the way over here and it would be lost wherever there's some on there on the passenger side. Take this opportunity to clean it up while you got it out. The side here, anything you need to do, like replacing anything really. This is the time to do it. So uh, that's what I did. I'm very proud of myself. And you can do it too. Don't be afraid. Just take your time. The hardest part was to take that pushing down on that inner metal ring and turning it at the same time. It has a spring on it. And I needed to use a um, like a like a pliers to when I push down. I used the pliers by grabbing the outside and swinging it around. It was super hard, and putting it back in was kind of difficult too. But it's doable. Just take your time. And you can get it done and save the money yourself. So that is it. Have a beautiful day.